Hello Taurus. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your love reading for the end of January 2021. This is a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What I have here is all of the court cards, including the knights that are in a tarot deck. And I'm just going to pick one to see who or what you might be dealing with, or maybe even your energy. Okay, we got that one. It's coming in. We have ta -da, the King of Wands reversed. So you may be dealing with a fire sign. This is someone who, this person can tend to be a little bit controlling or impulsive. Or, I just heard losing motivation. Lazy. This is my lazy boss when he's, reti when he's retired. I don't even know why I said that. When he's reversed. <laughs> Someone who, I'm going to put that on the side for a second. Someone who likes to control a situation and is also someone who doesn't, someone who does not like to commit. Someone who likes their freedom and... You know, so these cards here that I'm doing are, and remember, this could be your energy as well. Not saying that you're controlling and all that stuff, but um, you may not want to commit to a situation. These cards here are all of the major arcanas out of a tarot deck, and we're going to take one of them as well for your overall energy for the reading. Show me the overall energy for Taurus, please. Taurus. All right. Justice reversed. Uh, Aries. Just got that card. Hmm. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Hangman. All right. Because, only because, I just got done saying all that. And they had a fire sign here, too. So you could be dealing with an Aries. But Justice in Reverse, Sign of Libra. That is possibly someone getting a divorce. That King of Wands seems to be looking at that Injustice card. It's almost like he's refusing to take responsibility for his actions. That's what I'm hearing. Or he made a bad decision, a bad impulsive decision to do something chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so you could have had a lot of passion with this person fire signs are very passionate and justice is the coordinating planet for that is venus so there is love here show me messages for taurus please show me taurus Justice can also be a relationship that is out of balance because I'm getting that lazy type of energy. This is like my lazy guy. Maybe someone is not putting in as much effort into the relationship as you are, but you have chemistry with this person. Passion. Chemistry and passion. So the relationship seems good. Let's take one more. Show me. So it's almost like... Heart to heart conversation just coming out, and then this is a whole chunk that I'm not going to take. It's almost like, especially now with that coming out, I feel like there needs to be a conversation in this rela in this relationship. I feel like it's good, but I feel like someone is. Not doing their part. New love. Let me put that over there. Let me put you a couple of tea leaf cards. So heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Maybe someone wants a divorce and they need to tell this other person because a heart to heart conversation is something that could hurt someone's feelings. So there's something that you need to say to this person. Um, I had a very similar reading for, I, th I believe it was Pisces the other day, yesterday, yesterday or the day before. All right, we got a couple of tea leaf cards. Let's see what they say. Fair man, 
Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. All right. Grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. And man, dealings or relationship with a man. So you're obviously dealing with a man. <laughs> God, that's why you could be dealing with two men. Very uh, strong possibility here. One with dark hair and one with light hair. Something requires careful handling. All right. Let's get, I do this one next. Let's do a couple of Island Time Wellness. With that hangman showing up, I feel like you're in a relationship and you might have met a new person because we had new love on the bottom of the deck and you may be considering breaking up with someone, possibly even getting a divorce because you met a new person because something requires careful handling here. Uh-oh. All right. Show me Taurus, please. Show me Taurus. Let's see. Let's get some more information. We'll take this one. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Hmm. So you're in a stable, secure situation, but possibly there's no love or romance. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self self-care, and being happier. Bottom of the deck is paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Let me fix this camera a little bit, guys. I just want to make sure you can see everything. I swear this camera moves by itself. It's impossible. Anyway, so you obviously have some type of choice to make here. Between, I feel like this is two men. You have chemistry and passion with one, and you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the other one that, see, this stability and security tells me that you could possibly be staying in a relationship with this hangman, waiting it out, seeing how, you know, something's going to turn out. But you might need to look at things from a different perspective because even though it's going to be hard to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation and break up with someone, if that's what you're doing, I don't know, then in, in the long run, you will be happier with a new person. But it's going to be difficult to get to that point because the hangman is sometimes like a stuck energy. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I hang out? Do I wait it out? Do I see if things are going to get better? I am stable. I am secure here. I, this is a long-term relationship for me, but I also need this other person to be flexible. Let's pull, let's pull a couple of these. Ooh, did you see that? That is so weird. Well, I did bang my cards on the desk. Hmm. I wonder why that light flickered like that. I hope my power doesn't go out. <laughs> All right. Show me messages. What's that one? It's coming out. Triggered. So that's a name or a place or something. This person may get triggered easily. See, this person, this King of Wands in reverse, may be a type of person that angers easily. And you have a difficult time talking to them because they get triggered. Show me more for Taurus, please. Show me more for Taurus. Excitement. See, that's probably the new relationship that you're in. Show me one more. Oh boy. Show me one more for Taurus. Promise. Hmm. Making a promise to a new person or did someone break a promise? What's on the bottom? Apology. Someone broke a promise. 
they told you they were going to do something and they didn't do it. And now you need to speak up and have a conversation with this person, but you're afraid that when you say something, they're going to get angry. I don't want to keep going down that line because that card doesn't always mean that. There is a possibility here that you have an absolutely great relationship with someone. There's chemistry, there's passion, there's security, there's stability. But they may do something, they may have some type of a impulsive addiction or something that they do that you need to have a chat about. You know, I, I always try to give all these different scenarios for everybody. And the, the reading is going to resonate with everybody in so many different ways. But when I get apology and promise, that's usually someone who broke a promise. And now they're trying to apologize for what they did. Pause, timing factor, so a relationship is on break. Once again, with this hangman, we're waiting to see how something's going to turn out. Show me one more. For Taurus. Show me one more for Taurus. Oh, this is a lot. All right. I don't like to take a lot of cards because I just feel like they... It's too much information sometimes. But plugged, tuned in, internet connected. So you may be on break with a person, but you may still be connected through Facebook, social media, something like that. This person could have some type of addiction to their phone. Maybe they're always on their phone or they're always on the internet and they don't pay any attention to you, but you love them. Sold, moving, physical, location, change, and realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. Let's put those over there. So someone may have moved out. I think someone moved out, moved away. A relationship broke up. You're on break. You could be waiting for this person to return and apologize because they broke a promise. There's still somebody here that there's, with that trigger, there's somebody here that's difficult to talk to or, but I feel like somebody has made, somebody's had a wake up call here. Closed in, trapped, frustrated. I'm getting a lot of, um, cards of lockdown the hermit has been coming up the lock box is coming up anyway i just hope that we're not going back into lockdown the, the hangman can also represent stuck i'm getting retreat i'm getting this person may not have come to see you because of the lockdown but you may have locked someone out of a home you got this lock and this these keys here are changed locks. All right, but like I said, I'm not going to keep harping on it. For apology and fresh start. This person wants this. If you're separated from someone right now, they want it. They've realized they were wrong. They made a mistake. It was a bad decision. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you... A final message from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. I'm going to leave that there. Hopefully you got something out of this reading today. But like I said, it's going to resonate with so many people in so many different ways. This book has uh, relationship messages in it. So I am going to re read the relationship message. The community card is a card about being surrounded by people who love you. A place where you feel at home, where you feel comfortable, where you feel like you fit in. So let's see what it says for a relationship. You're discovering realization. The essential qualities that you share with another person and perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads, and there are times when you lead and the others follow. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance. Yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You are in a perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. So I was kind of getting that. I feel like there's a really good, strong relationship here. But somebody just has a problem, has an addiction, doesn't want to commit. 
um, chemistry in this glass over here made me feel like someone maybe is a drinker and they need to make healthy choices in order to make this relationship work. This is possible that someone needs to get off of the internet or this person may be seeing you on the internet possibly with another person and now they want to have this heart to heart conversation and apologize but they're frustrated because they're on lockdown in their house done completion lesson learned is underneath that so looks like you have a decision to make about whether i'm surprised that a reconciliation card didn't come out because that's what i was waiting for but with that said, I am going to leave that there, Aries, or I'm sorry, Taurus. <laughs> I got Aries on the brain. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.